Hey YouTube, this is Jack Connor with Paranormal PI coming at you with another video. This one is about George Knapp and Luis Elizondo, or Luis Elizondo, and a big announcement coming in January. So before we dive into it, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, and you know, we're trying to expand our channel and any help you can give us would be great. Okay, now yesterday I saw in an interview that George Knapp said there was a big announcement coming in January from some figure in the UFO community. And he didn't say what it was or who it was or what the announcement was. Uh, he only said there was a big announcement coming and that it would be some very well-known person who was going into some area that he didn't normally go into. Uh, so my first thought was Lou Elizondo because he and George have a, a business relationship and uh, you know, George has interviewed Lou before and I think they like and respect each other and they're, they're on the same wavelength more or less. And uh, so my first thought was that it was going to be Lou. And uh, then I tried to think about, well, what could it be that's different uh, than he normally does? You know, my first thought was ghosts. You know, is Lou Elizondo going to talk about ghosts? And here, stick with me now uh, briefly, uh, because ATIP, the organization that he was the head of, uh, at the Pentagon, the organization that looked into UFOs, it was actually a small splinter organization from the broader parent organization of OSAP. OSAP looked into more than just military encounters with UFOs, which is what ATIP looked into. OSAP looked into ghosts. They looked into cryptids like Bigfoot, portals, uh Weird, weird events of all shapes and sizes were looked into by OSAP. And uh, they are the real X-Files. Because if you've ever seen the show X-Files, they didn't just investigate UFOs. They investigated a, a broad spectrum of the paranormal and the weird. And that's what OSAP did. And ATIP was just a small little part of that. So, uh, so Lou, I don't know how much um, access he has to what OSAP was doing, but his organization is part of that larger parent organization, OSAP. Uh, so my first thought was he was going to talk about ghosts. And uh, then I thought, no, he is never going to talk about ghosts because he is trying to legitimize the UFO field. So I, I, I firmly believe uh, he's going to continue doing that. He is going to try to destigmatize UFOs. Um, and he has access to a lot of information. But a new article just dropped from the Silver Record. And uh, this is an, a very quick interview uh, between George Knapp and Lou Elizondo. And Lou uh, addresses this issue directly. He doesn't say what the announcement is, but he definitely gives some interesting teases. So let's go through it real quickly. All right, George Knapp interviewed Lou on, uh, on the 20th. Uh, George says, what's going on with TTSA? And of course, that's To The Stars Academy, the uh, semi-official, if you want to call it that, uh, disclosure effort uh, spearheaded by Tom DeLong, of all people. Um, who is a musician, but the people composing to the Stars Academy, TTSA, are all people like Lou Elizondo, high-level government people with a lot of access who want to reveal the existence of UFOs and aliens. So, George says, what's going on with TTSA? There's these rumors floating around that an announcement is coming in January that's going to shake things up a bit. What, if anything, can you say about it? And Lou says, well, I can't speak for TTSA. You'd have to go through TTSA channels to ask them about TTSA. And I'll tell you from my perspective, I love my friends at TTSA. That's really interesting that he seems to be separating himself from TTSA. So does that mean he's leaving TTSA or has already left them? That's really interesting. 
he was the star of their, uh, and hopefully still is their star, of the show Unidentified. He's uh, really the, the, the anchor for that show, the, the main character, if you will, and, uh, and, and, and rightly so. So I hope he's not leaving TTSA, but it is interesting that he's kind of separating himself from them a little bit. Okay, uh, continuing on. I love my friends at TTSA. They are incredible human beings, but I also have to say my mission has always been very clear, George. And that was to push disclosure forward. Was to push disclosure forward. His mission was. So is his mission over? That's it, he says. I think after three years, you know, I can look back and I think we've achieved much of what we set out to do. TTSA, it's no secret, also focuses on its entertainment division. And you know, let's face it, guys like Chris Mellon and Steve Justice and myself, we're not entertainers. We're not. So, very much like the History Channel project, we have accomplished our mission. Mission success. We have done more in three years collectively than anybody, I think, really expected us to achieve. Now it's time, I think, we shift from, you know, it's like a car, right? You know, I speak in car talk. I'm kind of a gearhead. So, I think the time has come from the proverbial first year to now second year. We have enough momentum, enough inertia, where we can shift gears and continue moving forward. And to do that, guys like me are looking at new and exciting ways to expand that conversation to an even larger audience while still staying true to our core mission of disclosure. And George Knapp says, I think I understand what you said there. And that is the end of it. So, Lou, as ever, is being very cagey. What exactly is he getting at? Well, he says, mission over. He says his mission was, putting it in past tense. He seems, in that first a couple of sentences, to separate himself from TTSA. Uh, now, he left the government uh, explicitly and ex specifically to join TTSA. So it's a big deal for him to get up and leave it, if that's what the announcement is. Now, what else could it be? Maybe there's going to be some sort of splinter organization, um, or since he focuses very much on the entertainment side of things, and again, he was the star of Unidentified, and possibly still is the star of Unidentified, Maybe he's going on, uh, he, he's hinting that they're going to broaden their entertainment spectrum, having more shows possibly uh, in, you know, maybe their own channel. That's just, you know, a wild theory. Uh, but it's interesting that he says he and Chris Mellon and Steve Justice are not entertainers and they're shifting gears. So does that mean they are going to bring on an entertainer? Are they going to have Chris Rock come out and uh, talk about UFOs? Uh, you know, as much as I appreciate Chris Rock, I hope not. I, I really hope that Lou and the other guys who have been researching and investigating UFOs uh, at a very high level for years uh, and know so much that they can't even reveal. Uh, I, I hope that they are still going to be our focus and that they are going to be pushing the conversation forward themselves instead of giving it over to somebody else uh, to push it forward. Uh, what do you think? What, what do you think Lou is hinting at here? Is Lou leaving? Is he stepping up? Is he getting in more shows? Uh, what's he talking about? Uh, he's being very cagey. Either way, we're getting something big in January, some big announcement. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be positive or negative. I'm real, I would be really sad if Lou left the stage, but you know, I appreciate what he's done, uh, very much. So, uh, I'm, I'm thankful for him and, and I hope he does well and, and whatever he decides to do. Uh, so uh, God bless you, Lou. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're staying the course 
and you're, you're staying with TTSA and pushing this thing forward in whatever way you can. Uh, we'd love to see more of you. Um, but anyway, guys, those are just my thoughts. I would love to know what you think. What the heck is Lou hinting about? What's he on about? Uh, what does George know? What does he doesn't know? Uh, is TTSA splintering? Are they uh, leveling up? Uh, Lou says they're going into second gear. Sounds like they're leveling up. So what does that mean? What is that going to look like? Is, is Are they starting a new channel? Uh, let me know your thoughts. And until next time, it's been fun. Uh, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, Jack out.